Uh, how's about cutting up a rug with me, Miss Winfield? Oh. Hmm? Oh, is your program full? Yeah, let me take a look. Huh? Oh, yeah, just like I figured. All full of names. <laughs> we just have to cross some of these <laughs> off, huh? You hear that? Waltz, hmm? Come on. I can't dance. Oh, there you go with that inferiority stuff. Again. No, I'd, Come on, try. I'd, I'd step on you. I'm not made out of glass, Miss Winfield. Well, how do we start? You just leave that up to me, okay? Now, just put your arms up like this. A little bit high. Good. Now, the main thing is that you relax. Well, okay? I'm scared that you can't budge me. What do you bet I can? Well, well, goodness, yes, you can. You can <laughs> budge me. <laughs> now, you got to relax, okay? Not so stiff. Okay, loosen your backbone. Right there. Good. Oh, yeah, that's better. I am? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Much better. Lots oh, my better. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. What are we hit on? The table. Oh, no. Oh, something fall. I heard it. Yeah. Oh no, is that that little glass horse with the horn? Yeah. It's broken? Yeah. Oh no, it lost its... But it's, it's just the horn and really it's probably a blessing in disguise. Mm. You're never gonna forgive me. That must have been your favorite piece of glass. I don't really have favorites much. It's no tragedy really because glass is just so fragile and you gotta be careful and sometimes in the... The traffic jars the shells and the things fall off of them. <laughs> Still, I'm very sorry that I was a cause. Well, what if I just pretended he had an operation and his horn was removed? <laughs> and then he makes him feel less freakish and now he's just like all the other horses yeah. that don't even have <laughs> horns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you got a sense of humor. <laughs> You know, you're, you're surprisingly very different from anyone I ever met. I hope you don't mind me saying that. I mean it in a nice way, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to say this. I mean, I normally don't have a problem explaining myself, but I just don't really know how to put it. But has anyone ever told you that you were pretty? Well, you are? Yeah. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are pretty. In a very different way than anyone else. And all the nicer because of the difference, too. I wish you were my sister. <laughs> so I could teach you to have some confidence in yourself. See, because different people, they're not like other people. We're different, right? Mm -hmm. But being different is nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, because the other people, well, they're not so wonderful. I mean, they're 100 times 1,000. And you, you're 1 times 1. They fly all over the place. You just stay there. I mean, they're, they're common. Common as weeds, and you, now you're, you're blue roses, right? <laughs> but blue is wrong for roses. No, that's right for you. You're pretty. In what respect am I pretty? No, in all respects. In your hair, your hair's pretty. Your eyes are pretty. hands are pretty. I hope you don't think I'm just saying this because I'm invited to dinner and I gotta be polite. Because I'm not. I could do that, Lord. I could put on a real act for you and tell you a bunch of things that wasn't true, but I'm speaking to you sincere. I'm being sincere right now. You know, I noticed that you got this, uh, this 
inferiority complex that keeps you from being comfortable around people. Somebody should just do something to boost your confidence up. Somebody should do something to keep you from being so shy and, and blushing all the time. Somebody ought to. Somebody ought to kiss you, Lord. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Lord. I was I was way off the beam. You don't smoke, do you? Well, would you care for a mint? Peppermint? I always got something in my pocket. I swear, I got a whole drugstore in here. You know, if you was my sister, I'd do just like Tom. I'd invite all the fellas around until I could find the right boy who could appreciate you. It's just a that in my case, he made a mistake. It's wrong of me to think that that was even his purpose in having me over a little bit. I mean, I mean, it's okay if it, if it was his purpose. It's just, well, I'm not, I'm not in the position to do the right thing. I can't. I can't take down your number and stay off phone, okay? I can't call you next week and ask for a date, okay? I thought I'd just get that out of the way right now so I don't hurt your feelings none. But you, you're not gonna call? No. No, Laura, I can't. You see, as I was explaining, I got strings on me, Laura. I, I've been going steady. I go out all the time with this girl named Betty, okay? She's a nice girl. I mean, she's, she's a homegirl like you. She's Catholic and Irish, and, and in a great many ways, we get along fine. We met, we met one summer on a moonlight cruise up the Majestic on our way to Alton. And from the very first moment, it, it was love. Love has made a new man out of me, Lord. I mean, love is really tremendous. Love can change the whole world, you know? God, I'm such a stumble job. I wish you would say something. What are you doing? You want me to keep him long? What for? To see the moon. <laughs> 